Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Derber with my lovely wife, Alberta Elizabeth Derber. And we are just delighted to be able to share with you the truths of God's word once again. Luke 1 37 says, With God, nothing shall be impossible. Nothing. It's December 30th. We are about to say bye bye to 2021. And it's thankful Thursday. That does not seem possible. I mean, it's with like. God, we... all things are possible. <laughs> You know how fast this year went? I don't know. It's fast to you? Yeah. Well, it's like it, it, it sometimes feels like it's forever, but then, boom, there we are at the end. Of, it's here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's... Well, Do we do anything last Christmas? That seems so far away. I don't remember. I don't remember. I just remember doing the Christmas tree. Well, it was good being with the staff and the band and the elders and last night, you know, and, and just uh, laughing and having a good time. Eating. Yeah, we ate, didn't we? Eating. Good thing, good thing. Our New Year's resolutions. I don't know what yours I don't even know. <laughs> well, uh, tomorrow we got an announcement we're going to make, and if you hear that heavenly sound, it's progress it's manifestation operation faith is in full mode uh green light we're going it we're we're we're, we're uh reconfiguring everything here so that we can continue to uh, build phase two so we're excited about all that but uh tomorrow we're going to announce something to you all and then uh, tomorrow evening is uh, church. It's New Year's Eve. And instead of 7 o'clock, it starts at 9 o'clock. So everybody could go eat their dinner. Yeah, and they'll, they'll come in. We're not having any food. No. no. And, and they come in, and uh, we're going to bring in the New Year. We might. We, we don't know. What? We might have a, a big party celebration. Well, I'm, yeah, celebrate around the world. We'll, we'll see what we'll see. We'll see how this thing. Uh, we'll see. We a partying bunch around here. We. I remember years, years back. Uh, I think even well, maybe not before we became pastors. Maybe we would go out to dinner in Lexington before we go. We were going to Lexington Church then. And we'd go to the midnight service or whatever, the bringing in the new year. But we'd go, we would go Italian restaurant or something before. We always went out to eat before we went to that service because there was we never had food or anything then. We don't need food. We got a big week of food at the prophets. Are you done? I'm done. Are you ready for uh, December 30th? I'm ready. All right, let's get going. Okay, December 30th, and our scripture verse for today is Psalms 118 and verse 15. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The party is here. See, I told you. Mm. In the tabernacle of the righteous. I was a big time partier before I got saved. I enjoyed the music and the dancing, the women and drugs, the gambling and alcohol. I enjoyed it very much. This is Pastor Philip, although I did too. <laughs> then I got saved and that all quickly ended. I still wanted to party, but I figured that was just flesh and the old man being tempted by the devil. It took a few years in my Christian walk before Father God could make it real to me that he was a partier himself. He has been partying longer than anyone, but in the correct way. Partying itself is not evil, just as money by itself is not evil. It's what people do with money that makes it evil or good. Likewise, it's how people are partying that makes it evil or good. I no longer party with drugs, alcohol, or any other sinful things. 
No, I party with righteousness and salvation. When you understand your right standing and your salvation benefit package, it will make you want to shout and dance. So I do. Father God has a standing invitation to all those parties, and they are not into full swing until he shows up. He is the life of the party. When he shows up, the music is better. The gifts of the Holy Spirit begin to operate. The word comes alive, and the voices of the righteous get happy. That is partying without waking up in jail, sick, and wondering what you did the night before. It doesn't cost you court fees and attorney fees. No, the party is all provided by Jesus. So awake to righteousness and get on your party voice. Hmm. Yeah, if there's ever a group on this planet really? that ought to be throwing a party. All the time. It's the righteous. All the time. It's the righteous. That's been the problem for all these years. The church isn't rejoicing in and uh, excited about their walk with God. So, you know, mm-hmm. so many people, because we always wanted to be, from the time we were babies, want, you know, studied the word half the day and prayed half the day. That was our day. That's all we did. And people used to think, you know, that's bondage. And We were having a good time. We were having a blast. Mm-hmm. And consequently, we were manifesting great things. But, I mean, we just always, it was always... With that one story... Even when we were we had nothing, Philip. I mean, I cried a lot, but I wouldn't have traded those times. Like God said, precious moments. Yeah, when, uh, that one story in the Bible, the prodigal son, you know, when he comes home, I mean, the father throws a party. Music and dancing in my father's house. I mean, that is a really powerful passage of uh, scriptures right there and it shows you the father's heart because that's Jesus that's telling that uh, story and uh, he's explaining how his father is and you know and and it it says right here the voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous and uh, I remember one time Alberta uh Actually, it was out at the farm back in those days, and I was moping around because it didn't seem like... We didn't have anything. (laughs) It didn't seem like God was moving on our behalf. And uh, After great and mighty miracles that we saw. Yeah, and the Lord Lord was telling me uh, to praise Him, throw a party. And uh, you know how we had that studio... Right, and you know, we could crank up that music, it had that big sound system, you know. <coughs> that was nice. And I said, I don't have nothing to praise you about. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Wrong oh. answer. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Well, really back in those days, answer. I didn't know uh, I was righteous, I was a baby Christian, and, and okay, God, man. God is used to, uh, He would rather you. Be that Talk way. to him like where you are than trying to act all religious <laughs> and cover up something. Yeah, and and uh, he said, won't you praise me for my mighty acts? And he took me to that scripture, you know, praise the Lord uh, for all the deeds that he's done among the people. And boy, I tell you what, I got, I got really convicted. And I said, you know what, Lord? Turn that off. Please, thank you. Sorry. You told me to turn on. I know. I was very cold, but now it's getting But uh, I started praising God uh, for rolling back the Red Sea, being the fourth man in the fire, shutting the mouths of the lions. Praise and boy, him I for tell you, when I started mighty doing works, that, yes. <laughs> when I started doing that, I started having a party. And see, you can have a pity party. And when you that get in don't that, work with God. When you get in that pity party 
only, you know, it, I've had in ministry, I've had people that were determined to stay in that petty party. Yeah. And you're trying to get them to rejoice their way out of it. And like uh, it's, it's, and not, it's not funny. I didn't say it was funny. <laughs> But but you gotta you gotta you gotta come out of this mess. Yes. Are you righteous? Yeah. Well, then get your voice rejoicing, rejoice evermore. You know, and and there's there's a power. I don't feel like rejoicing. I'm nothing to rejoice there's about. There's power of, of throwing a party. Shh. Throw a party. I wrote that song. Throw a party. It's party time. I would tell people all the time, put turn on some crazy praise music. Well, just have a party. That's, well, you'll have a party, just you and God, with yeah. crazy praise music. Yeah. I did it all the time. Started out crying. Yeah. Started out crying because I was hurting so bad and 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 looked like, you know, nothing's happening and you're crazy and all oh, this on and on. And I went out. I don't want to be married. I don't want to be... You know, a Christian. I mean, those are the thoughts that were hitting me. Yeah. I don't take that thought saying anything. Right, right, right. But I would put that, put the little cassette tapes in, and I always had music where you could read the words. They gave you the words in the little cassette tapes. Mm -hmm. And I would take that little insert and start singing and, and dancing, crying, but laugh, you know, making myself laugh. And the more I praised through those tears, I mean, suddenly there's nothing but God. I remember a time and time again, God would fill that camper, fill it with his presence, mm -hmm. you know. Didn't take a whole lot to fill that camper, but, mm -hmm. you know, it would just be, and I mean, there'd be times you'd come out and say, man, this is, mm -hmm. What is going on in here? You could feel the presence yeah, of absolutely. God. But started out crying, mm -hmm. hurting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was like. Well, the, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago we were having a service in here. And I, I was behind the keyboards playing. And the, and the Lord just quickened me to dance, right? Alberta physically, I didn't feel like dancing. Oh, sure. You know? Yeah, I know. And all I, I I didn't I didn't hesitate on how I felt. I immediately jumped out there, and when I did, something hit the house. Something hit the house that night. If you remember which yeah. one I'm talking about. Yeah. And everybody just started coming unglued, if you will. And you remember Arthur? Arthur was cutting a rug at night. And, and, that, and isn't that the night that God said? Yeah, yeah. Total people, restoration. People, people were just breaking all loose uh, from, uh, you know, just whatever was trying to weigh them down. Well, uh, you don't have to wait for a church service, right? Uh, the rejoicing, you know, you, 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 uh, I've seen you do that, what you just described, over and over and over again. Years after years. I would be year. in that one end of the camper, 30-foot camper. So that and, other end was not very far away. And all we had was a pocket door yeah. separating us. I'd pull that back, and I'd, I'd get on my knees. I'd be praying in there and studying and whatever. And I'd hear you in there. You'd have the music cranked up, be praising the Lord. And I don't know, after an hour, hour and a half or so, I'd come out there for some reason, and it would be like I walked into a, a just a atmosphere of, well, it wasn't like I did. I walked right into <laughs> yeah. the atmosphere of heaven, and and it, it no exaggeration. Oh, I know. I was there. And watch this. It wasn't in where I was at. Now, God was where I was at, but but I was studying and praying in the Holy Ghost and so on and so forth. But you were throwing a party over there, and uh, there was a, it was a different manifestation. And it was hard times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Financially. Every well, everything. We you know, well, I don't everything. know about everything, but financially. What I mean was, I was going through hard times when I would praise like that. I mean, I had to press to mm -hmm. start that. 
Well, the thing is, you don't have to wait for hard times to praise. And and no, I never did. I did it every you, day. You just you just keep that joy uh, flow flowing, and uh, keep rejoice. It says the voice of rejoicing. That means you already done some joicing. <laughs> now you re in it. Did some joicing, and now you're re in it. All right. Yeah. Well, really. Uh, it's, it's, we don't have to live under the weak and beggarly elements of this life. No. Nope. We have the power, death and life's in the power of the tongue, death and life's in the power of your partying. If you'll party with God, God, you know what? God ready for, re, he ready for a party. He's always ready for a yep. party. Yep. He says it throughout all his word. The whole book is about rejoicing. Mm -hmm. The whole book. In other words, wake up, church. You don't have anything to be miserable about. You don't have anything to be sad about. If we were doing more rejoicing, we would have a lot more results. That's right. Well, the we Lord, would probably Lord be, spoke to me years ago and he said, Philip, I'm going to use you to throw parties. Throw parties. I said, what? He said, think about it. Because... I used to throw parties when I was a sinner. And here's what you had to do to throw a party. You had to have a place. You had to have music. And then you had to have drugs and alcohol. Those three things. You had those three food, things, food. people showed up. No, no, you, you need food. No, no, no. We always had food, too. No, food came later. You'd order the pizza in or whatever. But those three things, the place... The music I had food. and the drugs and alcohol, right? And so, uh, we had he said, place, "I'm going to use music. you to throw parties because you got the place, mm -hmm. got the music, you got the music, and we got the high, the most, and high. you got the most high." And I tell you what, we've had some, we've had some uh, parties in places where they never had parties before. We were we were in a we were in a Methodist church, Alberta. This this uh, lady calls me up, and she said, oh, "We want the RVN band to come and do a concert at our church." I said, "Well, okay. Uh, what are you talking about?" And she she gave us a date. Can you come on that date? I said, "Okay. What what uh, has your pastor approved this?" She said, "Yeah, pastor's approved it." And uh, uh, I said, well, "What's the name of your church?" Well, it's such such Methodist church. I said, Methodist church? <laughs> I said, now, you, you know about the RVN band? She said, yeah. I came to your concert when you were in another town. And I loved it. And I said, our, our, our people need that here. I said, well, all right. If your pastor said it's all right and so on and so forth. Alberta, we got, we got to that church. And they had... A, a, a nice stage, you know, in the pews. Did, I was and all. it there? No. And they had this humongous uh, pulpit. Pulpit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and it's right in the way. You can't do no concert with that. And so I, I went to uh, the people there and I said, uh, my guys need to move that pulpit. Oh, no, you will not move that pulpit. You don't touch that. Holy grail. It has never been moved since it's been placed there. And I'm thinking, how are we going to do it? Because in our band, there's six of us. And we got this big pulpit that's taking up <laughs> most of the platform. And, and, and so I went up there and I'm thinking, no, this ain't going to work. And so I went back and talked to him. I said, look, I promise you, Nothing will happen in that pulpit, and we'll mark it with tape on the on the ground. It will be exactly where it was before. And they said, "You can you can make sure that happens." I said, "I guarantee it." So my wow. guys, my guys put tape on the floor, and it took I don't know three or four of them to pick that thing up and get it off the side. Well, now watch this, huh? This is a Methodist church, and I was raised Methodist. And I know that the methods aren't used to what we're about to do. <laughs> and in comes, here comes the pastor in. 
here comes a congregation in, and here comes a whole bunch of the youth in, and and so, uh, okay, here we're going to go, right? How was the pastor when he saw the pulpit moved? Well, when we, when we played the first song, he left. Oh. He left. He, he psh, I ain't going to be responsible for this. <laughs> he went out the side door never to return, right? Alberta, I'm telling you, we were about three or four songs in, and everybody in there was dancing. dancing. Isn't that wonderful? They were dancing. Well, I feel the Holy Ghost coming on me right now. They were dancing yeah. out in the aisles, dancing. And, you know, of course, I'm sharing testimony as we go. You know how we do. And uh, at the end, uh, I gave an altar call. And I don't know, six, seven of them came up, you know, whatever. But as we were leaving... As we were leaving, this young man came up to me and, and said, you know, he might have been 16, 17, 18. He said, uh, Brother Philip, he said, thank you. Wonderful. He said, I was thinking about killing myself. Oh, see that. And he said, I, I, I've been stuck, and I knew there was more to God. Right, instead of what he's But I'm not boring. seeing it. And you guys came in here and showed me there it's okay to have a good time in oh. God. Thank it's you. It's the only you. time you can have a good time. Throw a party. It's party time. Now I understand there's there's moments of 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 being quiet and and, and uh everyone a, a serious holy moment. I, I that's part of the party too. Right? Whatever whichever way the Holy Ghost is moving. But there is something about when people start rejoicing, people start dancing, people start shouting, people start clapping, people start running. You know, when Dad Tilton was here, he said, I think somebody in here ought to run. <laughs> well, are you kidding? The place just lit up, right? And before you know it, everybody running, right? You say, well, that's just crazy emotionalism. Well, you can call it what <laughs> you want. Yeah. But the whole time that's going on, the anointing just keeps on increasing. And uh, the goodness of God keeps showing up in all of that. And if there's a group of us that ought to be rejoicing, it's the righteous group. Hello. The ones that know they're righteous. Hello. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what I just said. I mean, if, if, if the church were so behind, we're so behind... If if the church was doing what God says throughout his word, he tells you to rejoice. I feel like rejoice apart. in the Lord always. And I feel again, like torn apart. Let's throw a party at people over the house to <laughs> decorate my house. <laughs> you know, this is the time of year right now between Christmas and New Year's. As, uh, well, a lot of parties up, going on. Lots of parties. But there there are, people are depressed. Oh my God! They're they're getting drunk. They're getting high. They're having uh, illicit sex. Anything to to try to to try them. to have a good time. Yes. Oh my God! You know, and and the loneliness. And the heartaches and the depression and the suicide and all this that's that they're trying to get rid of. And then there's people that can't even party because they're so far gone in 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 their minds and their lives that but there's such an answer. Rejoicing oh. is in the tabernacles of the righteous. Yes. You know, uh, the, the world has to see it, people. Wake up, church. Well, it's time. They need to see the real. That's what I'm saying. Not, we're not putting on a show. We're just no, enjoying no, no. God. Well, that's what I'm saying. We're throwing, we're throwing a party. and the, just People in, aren't seeing the real. Just en enjoying uh, the Spirit of God according to, like how the, according to how the Spirit of God is moving at that time. At that time. Nothing but love. Nothing but peace. Well, we used to we used to go to work back when we were heathen. We used to go to work and, and say, man, I was at a good party last night. 
and and well, what happened? You know, oh, well, no. we did this one. I don't and, remember. <laughs> But we would talk, or we'd say, hey, you going to that party this weekend? You know, it was all about party, 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 right? I mean, we, we would roll down the window as, as our friends were driving down Main Street, and we'd just holler out, party, you know, and, and so on and so forth. And, and uh, the true partiers are the people of God, and we are out of time. Did it again. But we're going to throw a party. Good party. I'm happy. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says, Where the word of a king is, there, there is power. power. Be a blessing. The Power of Faith programs are available on YouTube 24 7. So you can watch from anywhere at any time. Search for Power of Faith on YouTube or go to youtube.com forward slash power of faith. Subscribe and click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever new episodes are posted. If you missed the episode or you just want to go back and watch it over and over again, the Power of Faith YouTube channel is there for you.